After the first seasonal control performances, Camilla Valiva announced that she had eye surgery. Can this new calamity disrupt or even close the way to the future career of the young athlete, who has already experienced many trials? On September 16 and 17, the traditional preseason control performances of figure skaters from the Russian national team were scheduled at the Moscow Megasport, where they presented their programs. Special attention was paid to the women's single program, where all the leading figure skaters competed, Tuktamasheva, Akativa, Sadkova, Gorbacheva, Sinitsina, Petrosian, 12 participants in total. Specialists and fans paid special attention to Camilla Valiva's performance. Triple loop with hands up. Good height, flight, confident spin, clear landing. Plus 3 go. Total, 4.90, base cost, plus 1.47, GUE, equals 6.37 points for the third jump. Full breakdown of jumps of Camilla Valiva and other skaters, see on Patreon. Link in the description under the video. In a week's time, the Court of Arbitration for Sport CS, will begin the hearing in the Swiss city of Lausanne to make a final decision on the scandalous doping case that Valiva was allegedly found to have doped back in December 2021 during the Russian Championships in St. Petersburg. Much has already been said and written about what happened. There is no point in repeating this information. Now it remains only to wait and continue to work, regardless of the outcome. After all, no one, even the strictest and most unfair decision, will not be able to separate Camilla Valiva from millions of figure skating fans. However, perhaps this whole unjust story with doping and the final cast decision is not the only test that fate is preparing for Camilla. Camilla Valiva herself spoke about her health this way. I was preparing very well, I wanted to enter the season with a quadruple. But on August 16 I was told at a routine checkup that I had a retinal tear. I had two laser coagulations, and two to three weeks I skated like this, carefully. I started jumping only on September 6, I reduced the load. I had to change cascades in a hurry. That's why I had such a cascade and everything else, Camilla told reporters. Of course. The athlete and her coaches were fully aware of all the possible risks to Camilla's health and carefully calculated and took into account the loads that are allowed in such situations. Perhaps the changes in her appearance are related to this very problem and not to the psychological stresses that Rukovskaya spoke about. Nevertheless, the inner anxiety for the health of the young figure skater does not disappear. After all, for professional athletes, even small injuries can have serious consequences in the future. Sometimes they themselves consciously or unconsciously underestimate the possible risks and dangers. Here's how a retinal tear is described by a medical reference book. Retinal tear is an acquired pathology of the organ of vision, which is accompanied by a violation of the integrity of the retina with the risk of further detachment. Damage to the thin inner light sensitive membrane of the eye in most cases occurs when the vitreous body is thinned or tightly attached to the retina, and a section of it is pulled when detachment occurs. And here is how this diagnosis is described by Peter Igorovich Lidoff, an expert in sports medicine and anti-doping safety. In order to understand the degree of complexity of the problem, you need to clearly know the diagnosis. If it is not retinal detachment, but something else, the treatment tactics and further recommendations may be fundamentally different. This is a very important point. First of all, the diagnosis. Nevertheless, here is what is said in the guidelines for this case. Even after laser welding of the retina, the threat of its further detachment under the influence of high intensive physical loads remains. Therefore, a sports medicine doctor is obliged to prevent such an athlete from participating in sports with high physical loads, especially in sports of the highest achievements, in which the loads are the highest. This is the great mission of a sports doctor. On the other hand, there is no threat to life with this diagnosis. There is only the threat of loss of vision. And an athlete who has devoted his whole life to his cherished dream of becoming a champion, very often wants to take risks and ignore medical opinion. 
Having correctly formalized everything legally, he, with the verbal support of the coach, can independently decide on further training and performances. This is the very case when there is a conflict of interest, to risk oneself for the sake of victories, service to the fatherland, in fact, sacrificing one's health, or to act according to strict medical rules. It is a very difficult choice. I repeat that this is a situation where there is no threat to the athlete's life. The doctor faces a difficult task that requires understanding all the cause and effect relationships that led to the problem, the etiology of the disease that led to retinal detachment and retinal tear. This does not happen in every person. Physical activity itself is not the cause of detachment, but a predisposing factor. Therefore, it is important to understand, when laser retinal reattachment is performed, are there still threats or not? If there are no threats, for example, the athlete can continue to compete. If a recurrence is possible, then the prognostic risks of a recurrence of detachment should be assessed. If such risks are minimal, then, I repeat, the athlete may exceptionally go for broke. Either he goes off the track. Figure skater Alexandra Stepanova told what surprised her about Camilla Valiva. I am amazed how she, Valiva, performs everything she can show us. It's a mystery to me. She started skating differently too, she's already turned into such a girl. And, of course, it's insanely beautiful on the ice, it's already absolutely, I think, another person, said Alexandra Stepanova, a five-time European Championships medalist in ice dancing. UK lawyer Graham Arthur will represent Ruzeda at CAS. The hearings on the doping case of Camilla Valuva will be held at the Court of Arbitration for Sport on September 26 to 28. The figure skater will speak at them via video link. Arthur is a member of the Classification Committee of the International Paralympic Committee. Earlier, he represented Ruzeda in CAS in a number of other cases. He is a member of the working and monitoring groups of the Council of Europe and UNESCO. Sports lawyer Anna Ansalivich spoke about the role of his British colleague Graham Arthur in the consideration of the case of figure skater Camilla Valiva. This is a lawyer who has long represented Ruzeda's interests in all international judicial bodies. Including he worked on Valiva's case during the Olympic Games proceedings. This is a very experienced lawyer who worked for the UK Anti-Doping Agency for a long time and then opened a private practice. Obviously, he will defend Ruzeda's position that there was little fault or negligence on the part of the athlete, citing relevant precedents. Of course, his position may affect the final decision, but the main battle in CAS will be between WADA lawyers and Valiva's representatives, R.I. Novosti Sport quoted Ansalayevich as saying.